Hey everyone, today I'd like to show you a cool new product from Functional Devices. This is their Wi-Fi Rib Relay, and just like it sounds, it is a relay that can go on your Wi-Fi network. Um, it has a built-in web page in it. Uh, it allows you to trigger the relay remotely from the web page, or it also has a discrete input, and if you close the discrete input um, locally in the area where the relay is, then it'll it'll trigger the the 30 amp relay in it. Uh, there's two versions available. Both of them have the discrete uh, input, and the device that I happen to have here has two universal inputs. And just like with an automation controller, uh, allows you to do zero to five, zero to ten volts, uh, four to twenty milliamps. Um, dry contact and also a 10k2 thermistor um, internally here's your uh, 30 amp relay you can also power this with 24 volts or 120 volts uh, all off of the same two part numbers let me show you how it works so i have our relay connected to our office network uh, via one of the access points and we'll go up to the address bar and we'll type in the ip address and hit enter and this will pop up a security box you don't have to use security if uh you don't want to, but for the sake of the demo, uh, I'm using it just to show that you can do that. And we'll type in the username and password. And this brings us to the home page of the relay. The wireless network I have this connected to is Wireless 4. Uh, the screen is pretty straightforward. You'll notice that uh, there's a relay control box. This allows us to lock the relay on and off. Um, this gives us the status of the relay and what the last command uh, was that was sent to it. Um, and it also tells you uh, you can configure digital input to actually close the relay locally if you would like to. Uh, and then here's where the two universal inputs are. On universal input one, I have a 10K2 thermistor, um, and that updates pretty quickly. Uh, you notice there it just changed again. Uh, universal input two, uh, just for the demo purposes, I wired the relay uh, to that input. So when I lock this relay on, besides the status here, we should see this go closed down here also. So I'm going to lock the relay on. I'm going to hit on and hit set relay. And we'll see this come up. There's our relay status is on. And the last command that we sent it is also on. And you'll see that digital input 2 is closed. Uh, you can also read voltages and 4 to 20 uh, current uh, through those inputs. So let me lock the relay off again. And we'll see that the relay status is now off and the last command was off. Uh, the second page is a setup page. Uh, this is where you you get everything configured. I use the password of demo for my demo. Um, and here's the IP address uh, that I'm using. You can change the port number if you want. If you don't want it to be on port 80, if you have some other IPs um, using port 80 or, or you need to route it specially um, in through your, your firewall, then you could make it uh, another port number if you'd like to. Uh, there's a device name called it Wi-Fi Rib Relay. It's at Alps Controls. And here's where you configure the inputs. Uh, you typically just click on these, hit set, and then the screen goes back to um, uh, kind of looking blank here. Uh, there's a default relay power on setting. You can go in and have it so when you power it up, it either turns on, turns off, or goes to the last state. And then there's a setting down below where you can bind the uh, internal uh, digital input to the relay. Uh, let's go back up to the top here. Here's your Wi-Fi settings. And so you can click on Scan Wireless Networks. And what it will do is it will look for the networks that are within the vicinity of the wireless relay. And once it's done scanning, you can pick any of the networks and type in the uh, password uh, to log into the network. As you can see, this is a, a great new option that's available from functional devices when it comes to relays. Uh, typically in the past, we didn't have an option for um, doing anything other than maybe over, over lawn or back net. Uh, but now to be able to do it over Wi-Fi and be able to configure it with your phone or your laptop, um, I can see where there's going to be a lot of uh, customers out there that, that uh, find some great uses for the device. So to find this on our site, um, you can type in the part numbers that you see on the screen here somewhere, maybe right here. Um, and if you have any questions, give us a call. You can call us at 412-464-1730. And we'd be glad to talk to you about it a little bit more and actually uh, do an online test drive with you. Thank you.